Hello, one more time, Munir Ajam with another video on project management. Um, in this short video, we are going to talk about uh, an important concept that's quite useful in project management, but sometimes we overlook it and we don't uh, think about, which is the difference between expectations versus requirements. Uh, we often, you know, mostly in most projects, we hear about requirement, requirement, requirement. Uh, Pumba Guide have a process called collect requirements. Well, it's fine, and usually requirements is about what a client or a customer wants, whether internal or external. So basically, when you are working on a project, obviously the first thing we have to do is define requirements. However, every once in a while we might hear or know about situation where. Okay, we did the project, we finished the project, um, we delivered on the requirements, and the customer is not happy. Why? What went wrong? If the requirements were defined, they were clear, and the provider or the team that is working on the project did a good job in delivering on those requirements. Well, usually what's happened in this situation is that the project management team and the project team probably have not done good job in defining the expectations. So what does that mean? What is the key word? Well, what's the difference? A requirement typically refer to clear, explicit requirement. I want one, two, three, four, five, ten, fifty, a hundred. However, expectation is often implicit. It's often a mindset. It's an often is something we have in our mind that possibly or maybe enough time we do not know or we are not able to express that visual we have or that mindset that we have that we want. So that, you know, in our mind, we might have some expectation that we might not be able to verbalize it or convert it into clear requirements. Obviously, this is a challenge. And if we don't think of the need to find those expectation, expectation of who? Expectation of the stakeholders, the various stakeholders that have an influence on the project. If we don't do a good job in identifying their expectation, there is a very good chance at the end of the day they are not going to be happy with the output or the outcome of our project that we have delivered. Therefore, what do we need to do? Well, one thing we all talk about in project management sometime, or at least uh, the common concept, is project management is a, bit, is a bit of science and art, and I personally like to add to it and a bit of psychology. <laughs> so here it is important for us for the project manager and the project management team to maybe to practice their psychiatric skills or psychological skills, I'm not sure what's the right term, and explore, sit down with a different stakeholder and explore and explore. And I'm highlighting the word explore multiple times because the idea it is like a, an area that has to be explored because we don't know. So we want to go into the brain of these stakeholders uh, trying to um, to uh, extract that mindset that they have that that might not be able to express it for us. Now, there are many ways we can do this and, uh, and many techniques. And one of those techniques is that we talked about the five why technique or you know, being a child for a five years old child, asking why too many times. So we basically start asking the clients, the customers. And again, here it could be internal. What do you want? This. Why? Because of this. Why? Because of this. Okay, if we do this, would, uh, would that be enough? Or maybe we need to go more. Uh, maybe we need to go more, more. Why? Yeah, and we start asking why, 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 usually two, three, four, five times. And you probably get to the root cause. This is a technique we use on problem solving, but we can also use it for expectations. Uh, and that to try to understand what does the uh, stakeholders really want? What can they? Uh, what are the imaginings they will have at the end? Obviously, in capital facilities project, it might be easier because we might be doing some sketches for them and some diagram, and maybe building a model or a 3D model 
so they can probably kind of visualize a, a physical facility or at least the look of it. Yeah. Uh, but how in some time in some business project, organization project, maybe technology project, the output or the outcome, the output and the outcome might not be clear enough. So we will have to do something to explore. We need to try to find out and convert those uh, uh, implicit uh, mind, uh, deeply implanted ideas and concept. We need to be able to convert them and try to, I, I guess, transform them into requirements. If we do not do this, then technically our requirement will only focus on the technical stuff and what needs to be done. Uh, but we don't explore for the expectation. So in, in other words as well, we link this to the previous video, expectation is more related to outcome and benefits realization and benef what do you want to achieve. Why are we doing this project? Well, obviously we don't build software because we like to. We build software because we expect it's going to improve efficiencies or reduce costs uh, or whatever else. Uh, so these things we need to we need to be able to elaborate and link link them back so a lot of terminologies here we've been discussing in the last few videos that relate to the different term and concept and project management but at the end of the day there are things that are related and we need to go beyond the obvious we need to drill down we need to find out um, what are the different things we we cannot just you know do step one two three okay good i have a plan ready to go execute oops we forgot something Oops, we did not know what you wanted. Um, so take your time, take your time, take your time when you plan. Uh, take your time exploring for expectation. Take your time talking to stakeholders in order to, def to do the best job you can in clarifying requirements and defining what is necessary to deliver uh, success on a given project. Have a great time. Thank you. And until next time.